Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my Walmart haul with you guys. I have a pretty small haul. Um, if you're new, my name is Ashley. I live in Southern California. I have a family of four and my budget is $150 a week for groceries and I share them every week. I pop the prices up on the screen so you know how much I spent and I go over everything um, that I'm using it for and if you go in the description box, you can see my meal plan. So today, Food-wise, I spent $70 on these items. Um, I really want to use what I have on hand. We're planning a Costco trip pretty soon. So we want to do some chopped action and use our freezer and pantry and make meals from there. So we're going to get creative. I did plan a couple meals that I'll talk to you about. And I had to spend about $30 on soccer snacks because I have snack duty this week for my kids. So I'm going to go over everything with you and show you how I spent $101 on this food from Walmart and what I'm going to do with it. Um, first, let me show you a few things I got from Grocery Outlet. I spent $10 there to get some more snacks for the house and for soccer. So first, this is what I got from Grocery Outlet. I always forget about all the good snacks that they have. The only thing is you definitely need to check expiration dates because sometimes it's just things that are more close to date and that's why you get a really good deal. I spent $10 on all of this from Grocery Outlet. Everything was 99 cents except for the ice cream. So first I got these Chex Mix bars. These are for soccer because I have snack duty this week. You'll see lots of snacks in this haul because of that. I also got these Crunchberry snack pouches. Again, 12 pouches, 99 cents. So these two are going to be for soccer. Um, for my husband, for like lunches for work, I got him the Nature Valley Almond Bars. There's six of those. That was 99 cents. Also, these peanut butter chocolate granola squares, 99 cents. Then I got some cereal bars. I got Cocoa Puffs. That has eight for 99 cents. And I got two of the Honey Nut Cheerio Treats, and those were 99 cents. I think the kids will like the cereal bars for their school lunches. And then, I don't know if you are on TikTok, but there is a trend with fruit roll-ups. And you put ice cream inside it and the fruit roll-up turns crunchy. So we're going to try it. And I got these strawberry fruit roll-ups. And I thought a fruity ice cream would be good. So I went ahead and got the raspberry fruit sorbet and that was $1.99. So this is everything I got from Grocery Outlet. If you have one, definitely stop in for some snacks. They always have really great deals. So now let's go over to my Walmart haul. Now for the rest of the soccer snacks. I did get some cuties because I wanted something healthy in there. They don't want that many healthy things because they're 11 and 12 year olds. They want all the snacks, but I did get some cuties so I can, you know, tell the parents I tried a little bit. Um, I picked up Rice Krispie Treats because my daughter loves these. Um, there'll be a couple extra. We needed 12 for the team. Then I got some fruit snacks and whatever is extra we'll use for school lunches. I picked up two packs of Capri Suns because I needed 12. So whatever is left will be for school lunches. And this was the most expensive thing. It is these bags of chips. They're one ounce bags and there's 18. I need 12 for soccer. And they just like chips. <laughs> so I bit the bullet and got a more expensive treat for them um, for snacks. And I do it once a season. Every family just does one snack per season and then your kid gets snacks for the whole season. So this was my week and these are all the snacks that they're getting. Now, moving on to breakfast, I got some blueberries. We just need some more. We're big blueberry fans. I also got strawberries, which they were not on the app all week. And by a miracle, they were here in the app this morning. So I was able to get them. Um, I got a two pound and a one pound. I think I had the one pound in my cart, took it out and put the two pound. But it, maybe I forgot to take it out. But we will definitely eat them. They look good. I picked up these eggs. They are the Eglin's Best. I think they're, yeah, brown eggs. Um, I just went for the cheapest egg option, and now we have enough for the week. I picked up some butter, um, spreadable butter. This is for, like, toast and bagels. We have enough um, in the fridge for this week. I just needed butter, but we have all of the bread options. We needed one coffee creamer, so I got the Southern Butter Pecan. And then our last thing for breakfast is some orange juice, and I got the Tropicana. And soda is not something that I buy regularly, but I did get this Diet Dr. Pepper. It was on sale from Walmart. I like the bottles because sometimes we don't drink the whole thing. If you get cans, you have to drink the whole thing. 
This um, stays good for a long time, and you can drink it more than once. So I got Diet Dr. Pe Dr. Pepper and Coke Zero because these are our favorite sodas. Um, I was also thinking of making floats because we have vanilla ice cream in the fri or in the freezer, and I think that would be good. And then I got some goldfish. The kids like this for school lunches. And then I thought we might make some sandwiches um, when we go to soccer this weekend because we have afternoon games. So I got some Italian bread. And then I got this. Um, normally I get turkey, but I got the garlic herb chicken. And I got a little over half a pound. So I think that will be good for some sandwiches. So for dinners, I only planned four dinners because we're going to try and use things that we have already in the freeze freezer and fridge. Also, my husband and I have a date night. The kids are going to be with grandma and we are actually going to throwback night at Disneyland and we're really excited about that. So we're going to eat there. Um, but one of the dinners is going to be chicken noodle soup. I have everything. I just needed some celery. So I got that. We're also going to do like a bulgogi beef um, stir fry with rice. So I got some thin cut steak. This is about a pound. Then for the third dinner, I got this turkey smoked sausage. We're going to pair this with any odds and end veggies that are in my freezer. I usually have cut up bell pepper and onions and broccoli. And um, also I have a bunch of potatoes still. So I'm going to do like a sheet pan dinner. Then for dinner number four, I'm going to do French bread pizza. We love the French bread. I keep saying I'm going to make it myself and I never do. But one day, but for now, um, Walmart um, came in clutch and I got the French bread. Also got some mozzarella cheese and some pepperoni. And then we always have salad with that. So I got some romaine lettuce. And that's everything for our dinners. And that is everything that I got for this week for groceries. Again, I spent $101 at Walmart. $70 was the food portion. $30 was the snack portion. And I spent $10 at Grocery Outlet, so $111 for our groceries this week. Definitely under budget, and next week I'm going to try and go even lower and really just buy the bare bones. I might pull out all the things that I'm going to be using on hand so I have something to show you. Because I think the week after we're going to do a big stock up um, from Costco, and I'll have that Costco haul for you in probably like two weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. I appreciate everything, and yeah, see you next week. Have a great one. Bye.